Hey, hey, y'all, coming at you to talk about propagation today and specifically seed saving here in this video. This time of year, we are at the, th coming through fall into winter, and so there's so many opportunities to save seeds from plants that were growing all through spring and summer. I'm specifically sitting here next to Velvet Leaf Senna right now, and I'm gonna walk you through a couple of plants here and show you how I harvest seeds and store them. All right, here we go. So this velvet leaf senna has been growing here. It's just in its second year here. And the blooms were pollinated. And here are the seed pods. It's a legume, so it creates these little pea-shaped pea seed pods. Inside every pod are, as you can see, many, many seeds. What I do is I harvest the seed pods when they're nice and dry and I place them in a paper bag so that any moisture can evaporate. And then we will plant these in pots um, to share next spring. Coming around the garden bed here, I can see this lemon thyme that is definitely um, pretty spent. It's coming through the end of its life cycle. And these were once the beautiful basil blooms and now they are the seed tops. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull these up and then in, you can see the little black seeds there. Inside of each of these tops are gonna be several seeds. And again, I'm gonna put these into a paper bag or a paper envelope so that any moisture can evaporate off and save them for the spring. Um, I like to save a couple and then here are a couple more tops here that I can pull off and offer back to the garden for next season. Um, this plant is actually a volunteer that came back from seeds that I did this to last fall. All right, and to plant them, I just scratch them into the mulch here. And there they go. Here is a desert mallow here, and I like that there are flower and seed pods in different stages. So this is its sweet small flower. Here are some flowers that have been pollinated and are going to seed. And then right here is a seed pod that is complete. Pull it off and just kind of rough it up. And there are the seeds. Oops, excuse me, that's Nova Kitty. Nova, silly goose. Um, so there are the seeds inside the seed pod there that I could save to plant in another place. But for this one, I'm feeling called to scratch it in the soil right here and invite it to grow. Please grow. I'd love to have you here. This is a sweet velvet leafed mallow. That's a little native plant. And this was a seeded top that I um, pruned off of this plant last week. You can see here that these were each flowers that had five petals. They were pollinated and then the seed pods dried on the plant. And inside each of these are many, many seeds. Uh, I have them here in the HEB bag because I have plenty of those. And I have it labeled with its name. I put the color of the flower on there and then 1022 is the month that I um, saved them. And I'll put the bottom of this, at the bottom of the bag, see in there. A ton of seeds that have already come out of the seed pods. Ready to share. I have one last example here. This is the Mexican sunflower that has the big orange chunky flowers. Um, these Asteraceae family plants have con compound flowers, which means that the large bloom is full of many, many smaller blooms and the pollinators um, help pollinate those smaller blooms. And then when they go to seed, this whole thing is full of seeds, the seed head here. So I can rough it up a little bit. And these are the little seeds that come out. I saved some and also scratched some directly into the soil that will germinate late spring, early summer. These particular sunflowers grow all summer and then bloom in the fall as the seasons change. 
I hope that inspires you all to start saving seeds and sharing them right away <laughs> and enjoy the abundance of the seasons. Happy gardening.